Well, ha 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 I bet you were waiting for me to talk for a long time there, folks. This is Bobo the Vulture, um, finally with his microphone on again. Uh, this is Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic, the Supersonicist. If you don't believe me, ask, um, I don't know, Chuck Yeager. He broke the sound barrier. Bell X1 it was a big deal at the time. Still is a big deal, actually. Go check out the Air and Space Museum. Uh, I believe it is in the Smithsonian Air and Space Center in... Yeah, actually on the National Mall. Um, as opposed to the Stephen F. Udvar Hazi Annex, which is way out by Dulles Airport. Which is where they have bigger things. They have a Concord there, actually, if you're interested in uh, the supersonic transports. Um, although there is a... Uh, trying to remember what it was called now. There is a big transportation museum in Germany that actually has a TU-144 and a Concorde. And I'm pretty sure... I mean, they have an awesome display of cars, too. It's pretty neat. Anyways, January 2010. The MD-11 is no longer in production. But the A-700 is. And so is the A-720. So, they've built the first and second generation, well, that's the second and third for them, because Airbus is sort of descended from Aerospecial, or at least they purchased the remnants of Aerospecial at some point, I don't know. Anyways, we got some money, we got some stuff going on, we got some slots in Vancouver. Ah, oh, that's getting even more full. The Bangkok flight is full. Excellent. The Singapore flight is still full. Excellent. Alright. I gotta buy some more planes to put on some of these routes, but first... Let's talk to Precious Roy. I mean, first... Let's go check out Airbus. The A340 is their big long-haul quadruple engine thingy. Well, look at this little guy. I have enough money to buy one of these right now if I wanted it. This SST is an economical addition for your short haul planes. It's uh, actually not that economical. It doesn't carry that many people. It doesn't have a very long range, but you can afford to buy one. It does have that going for it. Now you got this bigger thing, which I can also afford. Wait a minute. 25, 48, 3.50. actually a much better deal. This sleek supersonic encompasses the latest in European technology. I bet it does. Nope. Which model am I interested in? Um, I'm bored to seeing you again. I only thought that I'd see you, baby, one more time again. I could get, I could get four of these, man. I could get, well, jeez, that is an expensive plane. That is an expensive plane that has, well, a route of, let's see, 4060, 4060 and 300 seats. I'm getting the feeling that the Airbuses are going to be the best supersonics. Oh no, okay, that doesn't have quite the range. So I guess it has that going. The A370. They have a large range of planes right now. Yeah, tempting, but uh, nope. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more 777s. And just start to pepper my roots in Southeast Asia with 777s. It is economical, and does have a pretty good seating capacity. I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Hey, you know what? Apparently the plane isn't to my liking. That's right, Missy. Let's see, 4060, that's not gonna do it. I need something that has a big... I'm a big man with a big appetite for airplanes. 600 passengers, huh? Alright, 600 passengers for 156,000. 
400 passengers. Better mileage. It's a pretty good plane, the MD-12, I gotta say. A must say. And it is cheaper. 400 seats. 400 seats, better economy. 62. Economy 64. Let's see, that's 330. How much was the MD-11? I know, I'm boring you folks doing my comparison shopping. Or MD-12. 400 seats. And that's a pretty good plane. I think what I'm going to do is, okay, that's 100, 108 million dollars. 108 million dollar dollar bills. 108 dollar dollar bills. How much will this route cost to start? 280 million dollars. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do then is invest some money maximizing these routes before I get that going. No, 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 no. With 777s, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and order three planes. Because I'll be able to use them right away. thing is, you may be noticing, oh, you have enough money to buy the planes, Bobo, why don't you just go ahead and buy the planes? Well, you never know when a sale's going to happen. It's... It's very serious business, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. I present to you Exhibit A. Me being awesome. Yes, uh, recording videos of yourself playing video games, putting that on the internet. That is the exhibit of me being awesome. It is the X to the Z exhibit of me being awesome. I already have the maximum number of slots. Uh, there's not much that you can do with 20 million in this day and age, is there? Oh yeah, it's 2010, folks. At this point, uh, the economy should already be severely depressed after the crash of 2008. My goodness, folks. Can you believe it's been so long since that happened? Oh, wow. But 2008, that was when it happened, folks. All of a sudden, all the, uh, whatever kinds of securities and such all went haywire. Oh, man. Credit default swaps. That's the term I was looking for. Jeez. We're coming up on 2012. It's been four years. Almost. And, uh, yeah. We are continuing to just sort of shuffle our feet along. Also, I did some exciting airplane shopping there. I found it exciting anyways. If you like me shopping for modes of transportation, boy, there are some video games I could regale you with. Ho <laughs> ho! Alright, Oceana, North America. Oh, I'm still better in North America than you. Oh, I forgot to check my total in uh, Southeast Asia. Yes! We did it! We broke the hundred million mark in profits in money dollars. In uh, Canadian dollars. That's right, I was about to go off on a rant in the last video about why the heck it is that Americans won't adopt coin dollars. We have coin dollars. We have several varieties of coin dollars. We have Susan B. Anthony dollars. We have Sacagawea dollars. Um, silver dollars. I got one more silver dollar. But, um, honestly, no, but people just hate them. They hate it as a form of currency. Like, people get mad. Like, I've, I used to work as a cashier years and years ago, and if you gave somebody a dollar coin, they would, like, stop you and tell you, no, don't give me dollar coin, give me folding money. I refuse to accept this as, as currency. I'm like, guys, it spends the same. You can keep it in your wallet and it won't shred up. You'll be, use, you'll be able to use it in a vending machine, you'll be able to use it at the toll booth, even after hours when the full service toll booth, like, person is gone. <sighs> yeah, and then I got exasperated with the people. Okay, so, wow, that flight is actually getting even fuller. Alright, let's put some more flights on here. Let's go ahead and boost this up to five flights a week. What is the competition doing? Oh, they have uh, reduced their... Alright, 
I'm going to set that. It's okay to change that flight as shown. I just put one plane on there. Um, go ahead and put one more here. That's going to get us seven flights a week. That's one flight a day, folks. It's okay to change that flight as shown. Actually, hang on. I should go back here and... Um, I still have one more in the... Uh, yeah, I still have one more in. I should go ahead and add it to the rotation. Set. Is it okay to change the flight as shown? Yes. Once I start building those uh, those routes out, we'll see how well things go. I can always go back and get two more 777s, but uh, I kind of want to see how that all plays out first. If I saw you in heaven, would it be the same? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's not great. It's okay. <laughs> Could, same can be said of a lot of my uh, routes here in North America. And you know, of course, if it turns out that eventually I need to, um, I eventually need to just muscle, uh, muscle Metlink out of this area. I can open a route to Philly. It won't do great, but it'll do okay. I can open a route to Atlanta, Chicago, maybe Houston. I had all those slots in Phoenix. They'll be like, well, oh, I see. Now you want to come back. I see how it is. I see. And I would say, yeah, what are you going to do about it? And they'd be stuck, because what are they going to do about it? Nothing. That's right, nothing. I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops. Nope. Not going to go shop for planes right now. I'm going to shop for slots. Hot slots. In Mexico City. Negotiations will take six months, which is fine. I'm eventually going to use it as my hub, so I should get slots while I can. Oceana, since there is an airline that's based out of Oceana, I should probably go ahead and not be fiddling around with Perth. Go ahead and get the maximum number of slots in uh, Sydney while I can. And that'll work out okay. Just to give those guys something to do. And Southeast Asia, also known as the place where money comes from. For my airline. Yeah, I like that. I don't like this, though. What's going on? Oh, the map's gonna make me sick. Oh, no. You mean I'm gonna lose passengers in Honolulu? But that was a big moneymaker for me. Regional flights, still number one. I'm still number one. For Europe, not the one. Yeah, I'm not number one there, but I mean, I'm gaining ground. I didn't look. It didn't look like I had a nice round number in Southeast Asia, though. It is possible that I'm actually reaching the point. Yes, even more millions rolling in. Give me all the money. All the money in the world. It belongs to Bobo. Right, folks. Number one in North America, number two in a couple other markets. That's the way to uh, keep things moving. Oh, Cuba. Cuba has a request. Dang it. And I probably have enough money to grant Cuba's request. I'm not going to, though. Take that, Cuba. Cuba's poor, and the area around the airport is underdeveloped. Funding is needed to expand the commuter infrastructure around the airport. Hey, wouldn't this be around the time Raul Castro was first taking power? <laughs> or was that before then, even? Oh yeah, I have enough money to uh, actually grant this request. So I have to actually make the active efforts to say no. I see. I'll go elsewhere then. Oh, um, I should make mention, long, long ago, actually in, I think, Scenario 3... Uh, because I had to crack up at one particular instance of um, the foreign representative from uh, Iraq 
be uh, complaining that Iraq was too poor to get oil. <laughs> um, but uh, Mysterious JG happened to notice that uh, the foreign representative guy, it's the same portrait in Iran. It may just be that, you know, certain countries just have the same ones. But uh, he noticed that, like, without the glasses, I mean, it sort of looks like Tariq Aziz, who was a uh, foreign minister uh, under Saddam Hussein in uh, Iraq back in the day, um, who I believe is now, like, under arrest and has, a, like, an execution order um, under the current regime. Um, the Al Maliki regime. Anyways. Oh, yeah, Honolulu. <laughs> it wasn't, do it didn't profit very much, did it? Oh, no. Um, alright, so that's okay. The New York route's doing alright. Tokyo! Ah, uh, Tokyo's almost completely full. Awesome. Awesome, daddy -o. Bangkok, still full. That is still full. Okay, I need to get a couple more, um, 777s. Holy nuts. I got like, four more 777s. Um, I got two more 777s. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I being such a skin flint? I have money. Ah, uh, I have money again. Such a relief. Time to spend irresponsibly. I'm not going to visit any of you guys. I know what you're all about. All about hurting me. <laughs> I don't know why that came out that way. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, Rome is the hotspot for tourists. So, oh, I should have checked and seen what airport that was the expansion of. I think it was the expansion of Vancouver, actually. Well, I'm not really hurting for slots at my home airport. Yeah, still number one in North America, baby. Players Club, baby. Okay, I didn't make quite as much money this quarter, but uh, still, whooping the tar out of everybody else. And that's what I care about. Ah, uh, year 2010. You're a fun year for my economy as opposed to the, the way the year went for the global economy. We card rights to more slots in Mexico City. That's cool. Oh, those slots in City. That's cool. Got some 777s. All fun and games. Actually, hang on. I have enough money that uh, I could possibly. Let's see here. Depart from Tokyo and go to Sydney. Okay, I don't have enough money. Oh, never mind. I don't have enough... I don't have an airplane with the range to do this flight. The new route will depart from Vancouver and go to Sydney. How much would that cost? 61,360. Actually, I do have enough money to do that. I just don't have enough... Uh, I don't have a plane with enough range. Wow, 7,810 miles. If I could get anybody to go on that plane, it would cost that person a fortune. Tokyo. Yeah, for some reason this is significantly more expensive. Oh well. So Bangkok still full up. Singapore still full up. Let's go ahead and get five more flights going. This may be the breaking point at which I actually have to go ahead and change the flight back down to being normal number of uh, plane or normal normal price. Uh, let's go ahead and add five more flights here and set the price. It's okay to change as shown. Absolutely, it's okay. Although, however. Although, however... I 
Let's see. Uh, Non-profitable routes. Go ahead and conduct them. How about a route between London and Moscow? Between Tokyo and Sapporo would be good. You're wrong. I mean, it would be fine. It would be convenient for people that are traveling there. London and Tokyo. Yes. An established service between Vancouver and South America. Mexico City? Hmm? Mexico City? Uh, no, let's not adjust. Discuss our plane holdings. We need more 777s. 400 777s! Next, let's discuss business ventures. Sure, why not? Three business ventures profits are 6% of our total company profits. The route between Vancouver isn't doing well. Let's buy the city hotel. We don't have much capital. Meeting is adjourned. I could spend some capital on some more business ventures. Or I could just hold on to it. Hold on to it greedily. And use it to buy more planes as more planes become useful. But, uh... Well, let's see here. So... The route here actually wouldn't be that much. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on here. First of all, new route will depart from Janku. Choose destination. I know I'm not going to be able to complete this route. But, we don't have any aircraft capable of flying such a great distance. It's true. I'm going to go over here one more time and double check the great distance necessary. 7,810. 7,810, eh? McDonnell Douglas, you don't have any planes that will do 7,810, do you? You do? Oh, and it's a nice plane, too. Okay. Alright. Good to know, actually. I, I like that I know that. You will clearly do that distance, but um, you cost more and you seat fewer. actually make it the whole way. I'm disappointed. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Just for fun, just cause I can, I'm gonna go ahead and open a route between Sydney and Vancouver. This plane is the largest in the MD series. The perfect plane for economy in the long haul range. She's right, you know. I'm gonna order one. It'll cost it. A billion dollars. It won't actually cost a billion dollars, folks. It'll cost a lot of money, though. Well, maybe it was a billion. I wasn't really counting. I don't have to count anymore. I've got so much money. I know, folks. I get a little bit, uh... I get a little bit nutty when I'm doing well in this game. But, um... Yeah. My, uh... I gotta, you know, hats off to, uh... Bitbucket Cynic. I mean, I figured as soon as I managed to have enough money to get into Southeast Asia that I would be able to start rolling in some profit, but man, I'm really rolling in some profit now that I'm in Southeast Asia. So, I can use that to fuel the rest of my world conquest, which will start next time, folks, because that is the end of the year 2010. Oh, I should have checked in Asia, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, more slots in London. Uh, I didn't see what that said. Probably said something about Paris. Who knows? My regional passenger numbers continue to grow. Man, I still have a lot of... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be number one with just those two routes in Southeast Asia. But I'm getting pretty darn close. Ah, still in the 100 million range, although my profits are shrinking some. Looks like everybody else's are too, though. Might have just been a rough year. Rough year for everybody. Everybody but Bobo. That's right, folks. Bobo is on point. Anyhow, um, that'll do it, I think, for another year in the life of Bobo Air. When we come back next time, folks, 
More progress, more conquest, more fun. This is Bobo the Vulture, this is Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic Scenario 4, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye now.